You could call it a contraception compromise after a firestorm of protests. President Obama has backed off a controversial birth control policy. It would have forced religious based hospitals and clinics to provide contraception to their employees, something strongly opposed by the Catholic Church. KXN's David Scott has reaction to today's policy retreat. The Catholic Church was up in arms over the Obama contraception policy, a policy requiring religious organizations to provide contraceptives, sterilization, and the morning after pill, things that are directly opposed by the church. Today, they consider this backtracking at least a partial victory. After taking growing heat for days, with Catholics making up 25% of the electorate in a campaign year, the president relented a bit. Religious organizations won't have to pay for these services. And no religious institution will have to provide these services directly. But women who work at these institutions will have access to free contraceptive services, just like other women. That means free check. Some Catholics even vowed to go to jail if need be to oppose the policy. A week ago, Austin Bishop Joe Vasquez issued this proclamation to his congregations. We cannot, we will not comply with this unjust law. People of faith cannot be made second-class citizens. Today, the diocese spokesman had this to say. Well, we still have some concerns about the revisions because we haven't seen the entire plan yet. Uh, once that comes out, we want to we want to hold judgment on it until we until that comes out. But we're optimistic, and we believe that what the administration did today is the is the first step in the right direction. The Seton Healthcare family, a major nonprofit that treats 1.8 million Central Texans, today said it is pleased with the dialogue between the Catholic Health Association and the Department of Health and Human Services. Some think this backlash took the administration by surprise. I think that they probably were surprised. The administration was surprised, but honestly, this is something that Catholics are good at doing. We can mobilize, we can respond, and we let our voices be heard. Tricky ethical questions remain. Religious organizations won't pay for or provide the contraceptive services directly, but they will pay the premiums to insurance companies that will. By the way, Planned Parenthood applauds the president's policy because it says this still means that women will be able to get birth control services wherever they work. David Scott, KXAN News.